guys, Craig here. And today is the day we're going to brew this St. Peter's beer kit. And if you watched my last video, you know that I received two of these as gifts um, in the mail. Uh, one of them was from Maniac, who has a YouTube channel and a Justin.tv broadcast that he does. And the other kit I received from somebody who wished to be, remain anonymous. So I do have two of them. The other one is is here. Okay, so I'll probably brew this one. I'll probably brew this one live on Justin TV one night. Put that down there. This one here, I'm going to brew right now in this YouTube video. Okay, so this is a St. Peter's Ruby Red Ale beer kit. Now, I've been a big fan of St. Peter's beer ever since uh, two or three years ago. My wife happened to be in the liquor store and she just happened to pick me up a St. Peter's uh, beer just because she, you know, felt like bringing me home a couple of uh, beers I haven't tried before. And the St. Peter's beer <laughs> was uh, uh, over the top. It was a really, really excellent English style beer. So I'm excited to brew it and I can't wait to taste it. Now let's take a look and see what is in one of these kits. Okay. So of course we have the, the yeast sachet. We have a, this is a Golding's hop powder. Okay. Golding's hop powder. And the contents of this is maltodextrin and hop oil. Okay. And it's Golding's hop extract. So those are the two package, packages that come with it. And we have two cans of liquid malt extract, St. Peter's uh, brand liquid malt extract. Okay. So I am going to put these cans in a pot full of hot water to get them warmed up. <laughs> and I'm going to sanitize my equipment and we're going to make this beer. Okay. So what are we doing? We're going to brew it. Let's get to it.
Okay, well, there you go. It's a great thing to be able to do. I'm looking forward to tasting this. Uh, St. Peter's Ruby Red Ale. Um, considering it's one of my favorite uh, brands of beer. And so we'll see how it turns out. We'll do a taste test. This beer is actually going into bottles. Uh, one liter glass flip top bottles. So it's going to have to age for about four weeks after this. So it's going to be a while before we do a taste test. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're going to have to wait with me. Um, it's going to be painful, but we'll do it. Mmm, the malt extract. Really, really good. And when I put in those, that little hop packet, the aroma that came off of that was incredible. It's like a dry hop mixture. What a great idea. Okay, guys, well, that's it for me for today. Thank God for beer kits. Thank God for home brew. Ah. Stay tuned, more to come. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys soon. Cheers. Bye.